would you say your school is more geared towards those interested in competition or self-defense? Uh, I would tell you that my school has both aspects. We have a number of people that compete, and uh, they do very well, usually coming in first or second place. Uh, but um, my roots began in 1998 uh, when I started at Maxercise in Philadelphia with Steve Maxwell, who was a black belt under Helson Gracie. I was able to take a number of private classes with Helson. So I have a uh, background and an interest in jiu-jitsu for self-defense, and that's where it all started for me. So that's incorporated strongly into my teaching. Okay. And what does a typical day of training there usually consist of? Uh, my class would typically be, like most others, there's a period of warm-up. Uh, rather than just doing calisthenics or running, or, or isolated stretches, I usually will have uh, the students warm up in a position where we may be working on that day. So they're already getting a little bit familiar with it, seeing where they're having some problems working on it. And then instruction would follow with techniques uh, surrounding that position, uh, transitions. After that, they have time to practice and uh, roll. Okay. And so where does training usually begin for someone just starting? Like, how do you start them off? Uh, people that are just beginning do start with uh, our regular groups. However, there always is time during free practice or in the beginning to work with them aside and begin to teach them some basics in hip movement, basic principles, uh, and techniques such as bridging, uh, hip, uh, elbow escape, standing up in base, etc. Um, so they fit right in. Okay, so so what would so what could you expect to have learned after about two to three months training there? Uh, after a few months, you will have mastered some of the basics uh, in jujitsu and have a good concept of uh, what you need to work on and what are the elements that make jiu-jitsu effective and the principles surrounding jiu-jitsu. Okay, and you mentioned that your classes accommodate all skill levels, so does that mean that everyone trains together or are they separated? Yes, no, everyone trains together. However, uh, during the class, I may work with several people on uh, several on more advanced moves uh, if that's something they need to be working on. And by the same token, I may go to the side and ask someone just to work on uh, the first one or two things that we went over, which are more critical critical to them as beginners. Uh, so it's adjusted, although the groups are mixed, beginners through advanced people in each class. Okay, and what would you say is the main goal for your students? I think the main goal is to uh, learn to relax under pressure to learn to use the jiu-jitsu for self-defense and have uh, an activity that will improve conditioning, improve thinking, relaxation, uh, and have enjoyment and be able to uh, meet people there and uh, have fun with other people in their jiu-jitsu training. And what are your future plans and goals for your school? My future plans are to continue as I'm doing and bring in exceptional talent in uh, seminars. We have had Hoyler Gracie come in twice. Black Belt under Hickson, Henry Akins has been in and will be back again soon. My instructor at third degree, three Black Belt under Hoyler Gracie, Aegis Libre, has been in multiple times and will continue to be there. So to be able to provide uh, high-level instruction, uh, with a lineage that's very close to Elio Gracie uh, and keep the school fun for everyone. And is there anything that you would say makes your school unique from others like it? I would tell you that one thing that's unique is the quality and mentality of the students. They work together, they help each other. We recently had a seminar where we opened it up to other schools and we actually had some students from New York at Marcelo Garcia School come down, some students from Connecticut, um, and several of them emailed me later 
telling me that they've never been to a school where the fellow students were so accommodating and friendly and helpful. And uh, I think we just have a unique environment there for that reason. Uh, on top of that, we have very high level technical instruction, very close lineage to Elio Gracie, and um, at a reasonable cost. So I think we have a pretty good program. So is there anything that you would like to say to any of my viewers interested in training at your school? Uh, the best thing would be to come check it out and see for yourself uh, why so many people continue to train with right. us. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank um, you. Okay, right. great. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. No problem.